Cause you had a bad day, you take taking one down, you sing a sad song just to turn it around. Oh, hey guys, uh, it's Tim here, and I was just singing along to uh, Bad Day by Daniel Pauser. It's one of my favorite songs. So uh, yeah, don't read anything into that. Uh, well anyway, uh, today I'm going to show you how to download a program called Ventrilo, or short Vent, um, as it's known in the gaming world. Basically, it's like a sound team chat sort of program where you speak into your mic and people communicate via that, um, using a lot of PC gaming. It's sort of like TeamSpeak, I guess, but uh, a bit different uh, layout, and uh, of course it's free, which is all good. Anything good is free, apart from AIDS. Yeah, AIDS is free, but it's not good. So anyway, yeah, uh, I use it on the game... Gear Wars, uh, sometimes in competitive gaming, so uh, I find it quite useful and I uh, hope you guys do as well. So the first thing you want to want to do is open up your, um, what you may call it, your, I can't think of the word, your Google Chrome Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox, your web browser, that's it, web browser. And then um, go on to your search engine or um, type in the website name, I'll put that in the description. But I've been Ventrilo, and the first thing that should come up, well, not the first thing, but uh, here on the Ventrilo website, it's got Ventrilo.com. It's also got the one beneath it. I'm just going to go on the Ventrilo website, um, and here over just right to the left, there's a menu. Um, in the main part, there's just telling you what uh, Ventrilo is. Yeah, it's a voiceover system, a VoIP. VoIP, yep, and then it tells you the latest news on updates and stuff. You don't need to look at that, you can look at that yourself in your own time. So, uh, on the left here, there's menu, and the fourth one down says download. It's the one you're going to want. Click on that. And then uh, it will take you to this page here. So, basically, Venturilo downloads consists of two things the client program, which is the one we're going to want to, which uh, basically, um, Every person who's on Vent will have this, and uh, someone will have a Vent server, and um, which has been set up, and I'll come on to that in a minute, and uh, you will just type in the information, the server IP, the uh, port, and maybe if it's a password, you go on that, and then you connect to it, and you're on the Vent in different channels. And that's the client program, basically, which is what the main one is. And then there's a server program just underneath, and... Um, that's basically for setting up your own server for the event so other people can join it with their client programs. Um, but basically, if you don't want to have your own and some other people already give you one, um, you will need client programs, download. Um, it tells you which thing you need, uh, system requirement basically, which one it supports. And um, it will ask you if you want 32-bit or 64-bit if you're on Windows. Uh, there's a way to find this out. Go onto Windows and then Control Panel. And then you should scroll down and go on to System. And here it should tell you on the system type which bits of operating system you are. I'm 32 bit, so I'm going to go ahead and download this one. And it will come to this. Uh, you can read all that crap, but uh, no one really wants to read about uh, terms and agreements and stuff. Just agree to it. And then uh, if you're on Windows, it'll come up something down here, which is save, discard, just save. Uh, there's some Vista if you're on Google Chrome. And uh, do I even need to save it and then run it? And just wait for it to uh, come up. Uh, once it's downloaded, click on it, and if you're on Vista, it will ask you to continue. You won't see this, because Cam Tadio doesn't record this for some reason. So continue. Just going to shut the download bar here. It will come up with the installation set up. Click Next. Then Agree to the License. And click Next. Then uh, you can make this up. I'm going to be my Guild Wars name. So ready. Um, you can set this to uh, whoever you can want allow to use it. Uh, anyone who uses computer, I'm going to set it to just myself. So basically, if you have different uh, 
accounts as such on your computer, that's what it's used for. And then uh, here, just select where you want the venture to download, it will be in the default C drive program files. Um, so I'll keep it that to be honest, and click next, and then next again. And it should stop the download. And uh like to take this opportunity to just say thank you to all those who subscribed, watch my videos, commented and stuff. It's quite good. Uh check out my channel. I've got that podcast coming that's gone. And I'm going to make that a series. And uh also uh whilst this is being installed, I'm sure you can work it out if you're on a Mac, it'll be pretty similar, I'm guessing. So so Ventry Low Quiet Client has installed. Uh, click finish and it should automatically come up I think but if it doesn't you can always bring it up yourself click that and then trilo and it should have made a, um, a shortcut yep if you look here there's a shortcut already made for you. And if you've used Venturator before like I have, I just uninstalled it to show you what it looked like if you've never used it before. But it will have all your details on there. If you delete it, don't worry, you can reinstall it and it will have all your stuff there. So basically, how you use it, um, this is your username, what will show up in the event. I've used this as my Gear Wars character name. And then your server, you can name that, and you can make multiple servers for different things. Name it. And um, then it will ask you for your hostname or IP, whoever's running it at the server. Um, we'll give you that. And then your ports, which you also need, they're both required. The person who's running the server will give you that. It might have a password, and the default channel is basically the server might be split up in different channels, so uh, if you want to get into one straight away, you can type that one in. And then there's a few options at the bottom here. Um, I leave them all on apart from allowing them to record my conversation. Uh, but you can edit that yourself. And then uh, bindings you don't need. Uh, setup, this is just some extra stuff here. Uh, you can edit this all yourself. You can use direct sound, um, edit your mic where it's coming from, and all that stuff. Volume, binds, network, miss, silence. Events, just lots of stuff. You can work that all out for yourself. Make sure you press OK when you, s otherwise it deletes all the stuff you've done. So basically, this is what it looks like, and then you click connect, and if the server's right, it will connect you. And um, sometimes it will come up with a message for the server. These are the channels, and that's about it, I think. Um, it's been quite a can. So hope this tutorial has been useful, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Um, thanks for watching, and goodbye.